Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to have again a full face of Elf. I placed a new order with Elf because I was interested to try one product. What else I purchased because of this bad boy? You are going to see in action in today's video. I have my eye makeup already on. I have used this eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. I believe it's discontinued, so I didn't want to feature it too much. So the opposite attractions or opposite attract. And I went for more neutral shades. So I went with the shades from this part. Transition, 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 outer V. And on my lid, I have this shade and this shade sorry i blind you with the ring light so don't want to spend too much time i also have an eyeliner it's not from elf i did not apply it mascara i will do it after i apply my face makeup so the main reason that i placed the order on elf or with elf it was to get my hands on this power grip dewy setting spray so this seems to be a hybrid between their gripping primer that I have it already and I don't use it so much and the setting spray so I have two setting sprays from um, elf and also I have their two gripping primers and also I have the putty primer but for today's video I want to try this one and see if I notice any changes on the longevity of my foundation and as we go along I'm going to show you what else I got or maybe I can show you now at the beginning of the video I got another setting spray from elf this was even pricier but it contains the SPF 30 so it's the sun touchable 30 Brow Spectrum SPF 30. They also have the primer from this range. I have also the primer. I select it as a sample, but I have already two sample sizes of this. I was interested to get my hands. This was the limited edition Jelly Pop. This is the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I had uh, the lip mask from this collection from Jelly Pop. However, they also had a primer. <coughs> And something else, I don't recall what it was. I, they didn't call my attention. This is their uh, primer infused matte bronzer. The shade is 10 o'clock. I'm excited about this. I got a dual ended brush that I plan to use it in today's video, even though it's not sanitized. Ah, and I got another brush. I forgot about this. This is one of my most favorite brushes from e.l.f. I uh, have it already. The Ultimate Blending Brush. This is perfect to buff your foundation. And two lip liners. I heard good things about their lip liners and they are very, very inexpensive. Pinky Swear and a Mauve Aside. I got another shade of their Camo Blush, Liquid Blush, because the one that I got, the previous order, it is damn pigmented. I cannot use it on my cheeks without looking like a clown. And one other product I had in my cart, and I'm going to test it right away, is the Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener. This is the lightest shade, the Tre Clair. Oh no, Fair. I'm going to get everything out of the packaging. So the gift with purchases, I had two samples, the primer with SPF 30 and another C brightening putty primer. I haven't had the C brightening, so this is really nice. Let me open it to show it to you because I'm not able to try everything in today's video. This is very adorable and doesn't have any scent, but it's yellow. If you blend it, that goes into your skin, so nothing shows off on the skin. And I got a full size of the moisturizer, pure skin moisturizer, okay. With oat milk, ceramides and niacinamide. Sounds lovely. I love the fact that it's coming in a tube. I think this retails for 11 or 12 euros and uh, it has 80 ml or 2.5 fluid ounces. So I think it's slightly larger than their regular setting spray. I'm um, going to grab a scissor and I'm going to open. So you see it's a light green, but it's a dual faced product. So here on the top, you have something more like an oil. So you have to shake it, shake it, shake it real good. And now the content becomes cloudy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spray it to half of my face. 
So I'm going to use it before and after makeup. Just want to give it a good test to see if I see, to see if I see, to see if there is some change in the longevity of my foundation. Foundation that I'm going to wear, it's also from e.l.f. I like this foundation. I have a wear test, a full wear test for this Camo Hydrating CC Cream. And we're going to use, now I don't know which of the brushes to use. I'm going to use the Ultimate Blending Brush for foundation. While the setting spray is getting dry on the other side of the face, I'm going to apply foundation on my left side. I don't have any primer, I only have SPF that I've applied in the morning. So I love the coverage and as you know me, when I'm uh, trying products from a brand, I usually stick with the full face from that brand. It's absolutely lovely. Going just a little bit to perfect. And by the way, I have something that it's noisy here. This is my uh, Gona bracelet. I have an upcoming collaboration with the brand. They are going to send me a few of their new products. So I'm not sure if this video is going before or after that one. But just in case, I want to let you know that I'm very, very excited and thankful that they have reached out yet again to me. Moving to the other side, just a side note, uh, before applying the foundation, I can see that my face has a little bit of a dewy finish after the primer, the setting spray has dried. So I don't see any problem with that. And I'm not sure if this has alcohol. I'm not able to read for the life of me. So I'm going to add the information somewhere on the screen. I love, I just love the way that this CC cream from e.l.f. applies. This is one of the best face or base products that I've tried, period. I don't want to add too much. Is it me or this side where I have the primer slash setting spray, it's a tad more dewy? Do you think it is the lighting or is just the finish from the setting spray? That it's remarkable because it's just a shiny or a dewy finish that is coming from within. It's not a greasy finish. The next product that I want to try right now is the Patty Color Correcting Eye Brightener. As I, as I mentioned, I have the shade Fair. One thing I hate about e.l.f. packaging, it's very stubborn. The size of this reminds me of their cream shadows. I have a few shades of those and it's a peachy color. Now I have, I have dark under eye circles, so I can use a corrector because peach corrects purple or blue. And sorry that I forgot to show you one side of the, or one eye with color corrector and one eye without. Someone has compared this to the Becca brightening under eye corrector that it's no longer available, even though I have a small size, but it's very old. I will just add a very small amount of a concealer. So this is the Quo Beauty concealer. Yeah, and now the coverage is perfect. By ad adding a corrector, you add less concealer, hence less chances to crease underneath your eyes. I have my e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. Love it. It is from e.l.f. of course. So I'm going to use this to set my under eye area. By setting this, you will ensure that your concealer will not crease. Maybe it will crease, but will not move. This is one of my most favorite products from e.l.f. And you can see how much I used is the Patty Bronzer. So I'm going to use the Sephora Pro Foundation 47 brush. Oh, this has a little bit dried out because I haven't used it in a very long while. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush in the shade Bermuda. And I said that I will use this side of the brush and I forgot. Oh, Julia, why are you doing this? Let's try this blush. Luckily, I didn't apply too much. So I got the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in the shade Peach Perfect. So this is the applicator. Oh my God, it blends so seamlessly. Seamlessly. It's an absolute dream. I love the shade. Now I can go set my face 
with the e.l.f. Halo Glow powder. But I'm only going to set the T-zone. Don't worry, we are also going to finish up with the setting spray. The next product that I want to try is the Primer Infused Matte Bronzer in the shade 10 o'clock. They also have a blush. I said I have enough blushes from e.l.f. It looks exactly like the shades that are working for my fair to light complexion. It's matte. The swatch is here and this is the blush. Brush is a cream one and this is the bronzer. You know what? I'm going to use the other side of the blush. The brush! I love dual ended brushes, especially for travel. And since I mostly store my brushes in drawer inside, I promised you a collection video, brush collection video. You are going to see that 99, no, 95% of my brushes are inside of a drawer. Oh, Julia, you are so tan right now. You look like you just landed from the beach, which I am also thinking of. Since the summer is coming, I have a nails mascara, which is quite oldish. For this reason, I'm going first with my NYX on the Rise Volume Mascara. I'm going to top it with what has left from the e.l.f. Lash Extender. Idea of e.l.f. is to bring you an alternative for the high-end product. So this mascara was meant to be a dupe for the Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara. Let's now quickly try out the lip liners. This is nice because you can tear it open. Pinky swear. I swear on my pinky. And this is the mauve shade. Now which one I'm going to use? Let's go bold. The rumors about this lip liner are true. It's very creamy. I love the formula. I also heard that it's very long lasting and actually this shade is quite nice on me. I'm going to try it, but not sure if it will be a good match with the Jelly Pop Glow Reviver Lip Oil. This smells like watermelon. Actually, you know what? It's working. Don't judge the content for the what it looks on the tube on the lips. It's more muted. It's absolutely beautiful. And I think it's working with this look. So I owe you a look with this lip liner. I'm going to try it in another video. I have a upcoming Tarte custom kit. So probably I'm going to use it there because I'm not sure if I have a lip liner there. And the other lip oil that I have from e.l.f. I didn't purchase it right now. It's this from their regular collection. Okay, the one that I have is even more pigmented. The one that I had. I will um, pop the shade on the screen. And the final thing that I wanted to do to seal in is to apply another layer. Yeah, I can tell that even after setting, I have the dewy or a natural luminosity from using this setting spray. I think this is a winner, but I'm going to let you know. If I have time when I'm uh, washing my face, I'm going to pop up here and let you know the comparison or you can also see with together with me how the sides look. But yeah, you guys, this is everything I wanted to try for today's video. Very excited for this. I will let you know about all the products that I've used in the description box if I have some complaints, but I'm excited about the brush. I'm also very, very excited about where are you? About the corrector. Love the matte bronzer. Love the lip liner. And I'm very surprised about the jelly oil. I wasn't thinking that it's going to match with the lip liner that I've used. So it was just an uh, unexpected combination. And yeah, if I forgot something else, I will definitely let you know. And I'm also going to let you know about this spray because I'm going to use it in upcoming videos or maybe uh, outside camera. All right, you guys, this is what the face looks like at the end of the day. And this is the side where I have been uh, wearing the power grip dewy setting spray from e.l.f. I would say that both sides of the face look nice, but if I look at the right side where I have been applying the e.l.f. setting spray, 
I can see the luminosity has been preserved and for sure I don't have any oil breakthrough. And one other thing, I don't know if it's noticeable, I think the eye makeup and the under eye area looks slightly better than on the side where I have not applied this setting spray. So yeah, this is something I wasn't thinking about that by using this you can also prolong the makeup of your eyes, not only for your face. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already and I'm going to see you really soon with another video. Bye bye!